Hello, we are discussing about the video solutions for GATE 2012 ECE branch and the topic we are discussing is electron devices. So the two marks questions in the series we are discussing, this is a linked question that is common data for both questions second and third. So first we will discuss the first one, later we will go for the second one. So the common data given is for the given three dimensional view of a silicon n channel mass transistor shown below lambda is equal to 20 nanometers transistor is of width 1 micrometer the depletion width formed at every pn junction is 10 nanometers the relative permittivity of silicon and silicon dioxide are 11.7 and 3.9 and epsilon naught is 8.9 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter this is a given data for the given three dimensional diagram of n channel mass transistor you need to calculate the gate source overlap capacitance is approximately 0.7 femtofarad 0.7 picofarad 0.35 femtofarad 0.24 picofarad understand the question carefully this is a three dimensional view of silicon n channel mass transistor lambda lambda is going to be here it has shown here here lambda is nothing but this is source and it is drain the above one is nothing but it is gate in between this one the black color this is black shaded area is nothing but silicon dioxide this is also called as gate oxide or thin oxide so the gate area is going to be somewhat overlapped into source as well as into drain so how much the gate area is overlapped into source and into drain that is indicated with lambda lambda is gate source overlap portion as well as gate drain overlap portion the value of that lambda is equal to 20 nanometers is given next transistor width is 1 micrometer transistor width is nothing but simply it is channel width so if you are going to check with this is the channel area the area between drain and source where the channel is going to be formed is treated as channel region this is a channel region and here it is this is also called as length of channel and width of channel is nothing but it is only shown on three dimensional point of view so this is width of channel during three dimensional point so one micrometer is nothing but width of channel this is also one micrometer this is also one micrometer and this source also 1 micrometer drain is also of 1 micrometer so width of channel or width of transistor is 1 micrometer and the other given dimension is the depletion width formed at every pn junction is 10 nanometer we know that one wherever a pn junction is formed there will be a built-in potential that is there is a depletion region is formed the width of depletion region is given as 10 nanometer what are the chances of getting p n junctions that we will see given n channel mass transistor n channel mass transistor means source is of n type drain is of n type so source is of made up of n plus material drain is also made up of n plus material and always n channel mass transistors are fabricated under p type substrate so this is p type substrate this is p type substrate and it is n plus source and it is n plus drain so always there is a chance this is n plus source and it is p type substrate there is a chance of getting a pn junction always there is a pn junction formed here also this is drain of n plus region and source is of substrate is of p type so again it is a pn junction so this is pn junction this is also pn junction so definitely there will be a depletion region formed around this place around this place this is what nearby this one this is also p type substrate so here this is a pn junction this is a pn junction this is a pn junction at all sides of source except top all sides of drain except top are going to be pn junction and the depletion width formed at pn junction is given as 10 nanometer and relative permittivity epsilon r of silicon is 11.7 epsilon r of silicon dioxide is 3.9 epsilon naught is given as 8.9 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter these are the given information and we need to calculate what is the gate source overlap capacitance 
the correct answer for this one is 0.7 femtofarad we will see the details of this one this is a diagram given gate source junction already we discussed this top portion is nothing but gate and this is source and it is drain gate source capacitance is nothing but gate is going to be a conducting material and source is also of a conducting material so gate and source are going to be overlapped by the time two conducting materials in between silicon dioxide layer is going to be placed this is over this portion during this portion there is a gate and source are overlapped in between that one is silicon dioxide layer which act as dielectric so this is going to be a formation of parallel plate capacitor so this is built in parallel plate capacitor will be existing at gate source junction as well as at drain source junction we need to calculate gate source capacitance so wherever a parallel plate capacitor the formula we know it is epsilon a by d so already what we discussed lambda is nothing but overlapping of gate and source regions which is given as 20 nanometers w width of transistor this is width of transistor width of transistor width of transistor is given as 1 micrometer wd depletion width formed at every p n junction is 10 nanometers it is of no use in this question but still we are writing that one information the given data is wd depletion width formed at every p n junction is 10 nanometer so depletion width that is p n junction is formed at every source substrate junction as well as drain substrate junction substrate this is source substrate junction everywhere drain substrate junction everywhere it is going to be formed next thickness of silicon dioxide layer is given as 1 nanometer thickness of silicon dioxide layer is nothing but this one the black coated area whose thickness is 1 nanometer it was given now we are calculating source gate source overlapping capacitance this is a simple diagram over here this region is going to be indicated this region is this one gate source SiO2 TOX so TOX is known W is known and everything is lambda is also known so this is a portion you can think this is a portion of overlapping of gate and source this is now parallel plate capacitor gate is a one parallel plate cap parallel plate and source is also one more parallel plate SiO2 is layer in between this is a equation for parallel plate capacitance epsilon a by d epsilon is nothing but epsilon naught into epsilon SiO2 here we are going with dielectric material as silicon dioxide so that we must use the silicon dioxide relative permittivity not of silicon even though it is given as both silicon and silicon dioxide we must use silicon dioxide only because the dielectric material is consisting of silicon dioxide and area of that one area of parallel plate by TOX so the plate area you can go with either gate or source the overlapping area one side of this area is lambda the other side is nothing but W so area will become lambda into W if you substitute the given values CGS is equal to epsilon naught is given epsilon silicon dioxide is given W is given lambda is given TOX is given if you substitute all those values you will get the correct answer as 0.7 femtofarads femto means 10 power minus 15 so CG is gate source overlap capacitance is 0.7 into 10 power minus 15 farads the right answer is A 0.7 femtofarads thank you